Hi all, uh, Kieran here. I just thought I'd do a quick um, <coughs> video about this uh, Syrian uh, issue. Um, basically, as I'm as I'm making this video uh, today, the British Parliament are going to be voting on sanctioning military action in Syria, which, um, as far as I can see, involves dropping bombs on Syria. I don't think they're talking in terms of British troops going in. Um, but uh, I should apologize, I, I'm not as clued up on this stuff as I should be, I haven't researched it very much, but I'm very much against Britain taking part in this military action, so the vote is today, so I feel I should make a video anyway based on what I do know. Um, yes, I'm strongly opposed to um, to this kind of thing, I generally uh, generally oppose wars that Britain takes part in. I don't think Britain is a great influence in the world or is wise enough to start dropping bombs on people and telling people how to run their countries. Uh, I think in general, well in practice it's going to be the Americans calling the shots in uh, in Syria and I don't, I really don't think they have the, the, the American government at least have the wisdom or sense or the care enough to be any kind of good influence in Syria in the near future. Um, these bombs are obviously going to kill people, uh, it's, it's going to be an escala escalation of the, of the conflict. Um, what else can I say? Uh, there's a lot of countries seem to have got involved in this Syrian thing. You're talking about Russia and uh, Israel, everyone seems to be interested. And uh, there's a small chance of provoking uh, more international conflict. Uh, I suppose it's quite unlikely because none of these countries really want to get have a war with each other. But who knows? It's certainly going to harm international relations with these between all these countries, which desperately need to work together to make a better world, in my view. Um, also, I think. Um, uh, it's going to provoke more violence within the country probably. It looks like the Assad regime are sort of either winning the war or or, or holding their own. Uh, so this is going to be a boost to the rebels, uh, which probably um, or could pro prolong the conflict, make it more bloody. Um, also, well, I suppose more fundamentally, Based on the little I know about the Assad regime and the rebels, I think the Syrians will be better off uh, remaining under Assad's rule, uh, albeit, you know, he's a dictator and uh, murders people and so on. But I think, as we saw with Iraq, um, the rebels, they're such a mixed bag of people, they're all, they've all got like violence in common. Um, I think there's just going to be a lot of bloodshed between the different groups if if the Assad regime falls. So, um, uh, yeah, and also, um, I mean, I think it's a big problem that the Americans are kind of acting alone or acting with just a few other countries. We do have this UN system uh, where we can sanction violence in um, certain circumstances. It uh, looks like they're not going down that road because presumably the Russians are going to veto any action in Syria as they support the, the Assad regime. Um, so I think the democratic thing to do would be to just walk away from it, just to say, okay, we don't, get, we haven't got it, we're not getting a UN decision here, uh, therefore we shouldn't uh, shouldn't go ahead with with uh, military action. Um, I think that would be the the reasonable thing to do. Um, I mean, I'm a bit of a pacifist, and I'm also um, I believe in a, a world government. So um, I think we should move towards more um, things being decided at world level. Certainly, things to do with with violence and uh, war. I think we can end war by having a world government and by having um, by ha or at least making war an issue that is decided democratically at world level. Uh, ideally that would be decided by the people of the world in referenda or by a randomly selected uh, subset of the people of the world rather than these world 
governments who tend to be more violent and have their own elitist interests. Um, but anyway, uh, you may not agree with me on this, uh, on all of, all of that stuff about world government, but uh, I certainly think that no good will come from this action. And uh, I urge anybody in the UK to. I've written to my MP. I've been involved in some in a, in a street demonstration here in London. And uh, while we have time, do what you can to try and stop this uh, this bloody escalation. Okay, last quick point. Um, there have been reports in recent days about um, a tragic uh, gas attack in, in Syria and um, that is being used as a justification for this, uh, this bombing. Uh, a couple of points about that. Um, uh, I think if, if there was a really huge gas attacks, uh, there were really huge gas attacks or um, uh, huge acts of mass murder, then fair enough, that might be used a reasonable justification for uh, for war. Um, but uh, the, the numbers involved, we're talking about hundreds of people killed here uh, in a war which has killed um, uh, uh, so I hear hundred hundred thousand people. So uh, morally, uh, it's not of that great significance. The method of killing people is more much more important. The actual uh, um, number of people being killed. So morally, I don't think that this this gas attack is is that significant. Um, and uh, the second point. Is it hasn't really been verified that it's been done by the Assad regime. Um, the Americans seem very quick to move to action here. Uh, on at least one occasion before we we had some, res you know, unsubstantiated reports of human rights abuses before war. Um, I'm thinking about the Gulf War. Where there was some report of babies being killed. Um, so this kind of stuff can be turn out to be bullshit. Uh, so there seems to be no real reason why the Americans are moving so fast. There is not a huge rush to move before this. Uh, it's been verified who did this attack. Um, but as I say, I would still be against the um, the bombing uh, for the reasons just given. All the best.